Alright, so let's continue our discussion in Revit 2023 for architecture. So in this exercise, we're going to import an AutoCAD drawing into our Revit project and then we are going to trace the imported drawing to create a building model. Okay, so let's first import a 2D drawing file. So let's go to the Insert tab and then let's select here Import CAD. Let's click that. And then on the chapter one of my exercise, I'm going to select here the file floor plan. So I'll select the floor plan and then I'm just going to select here current view only. So if you tick current view only, you will only see this drawing on your level one because that is our current drawing or current view. So if you're going and check this one, so you'll be able to see the M floor plan to the other views as well. Okay, so I'm just going to tick this and then I want to preserve the color. I'll be putting all the, I'll be turning on all the layers and then I'll just use here auto detect. And then I'll just use auto origin to internal origin. That's it. Okay, and then let us just select here open. So after that, we are now going to trace our drawing model okay so one thing that you can do before you trace it is that you can pin your imported drawing so that you will not be able to move it accidentally so i'm going to enable select pinned elements and then this one as well i'm just going to enable all of this and then i'm going to select and then just make sure it is already pinned. So it's already pinned. So if you want to unpin that, so there's another tool there that you can use to unpin or you can just type UP. So that's the shortcut. Okay, so let us now trace our model. So to do that, from the architecture, I'm going to select the wall tool here. Let's click that. And then from the properties, let's click the drop down arrow and then let's look for exterior wall. I'll be using exterior brick on metal stud. So I'm just going to select this one. And then here on my options bar for the height, I want that to be until uh, level 2. Okay, and then for the location line, I'm just going to make it finish face exterior. So that will going to be the justification. And then here on the draw tool, I'm just going to use here the line tool. And then just make sure the chain here is checked. So that we'll be able to create our wall or walls continuously. Okay, so let's click here. So I'm going to trace here. One, two three, four, click, and then modify to terminate. All right, so in our 3D model, so let's turn on the default 3D view. So this is now how it looks like. Let me go to level one. Let's go to the view tab and then select here tile windows. So you can type WT so we can see the floor plan here as well as the 3D model. So if I'm going to select this floor or this wall, you can see that it's on level 1 up to level 2. So that's the top constraint. Okay, so now the next thing is we're going to create the interior walls. Okay, so let's select here the architecture again. Let's select the wall architectural. This time from the type selector, I will be selecting here interior 135 mm okay so select that one and then for the location line this time a while ago we have selected uh finish face exterior right so this time i'm gonna use a uh, wall center line so that will gonna be the justification of my wall so i'm gonna select that and then same height up to level two this time, I'm going to uncheck the chain here and then using the line tool again. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to start here. So one, 
two. So one, two. So as you can see, it's not continuous or it's not chain because chain is unchecked. So one, two. And then you also notice here our 3D model updates. So here, one. So here, two. And then we can use stream extend to corner. So I'm going to pick this one and then this one. There you go. And then wall again. Or you can select the wall that you created. I'm going to select modify here to terminate the tool. So I'm going to select the wall that I just created and then right click. I'll be selecting here create similar. Click that one and then let's pick here. One, two. And then here, one, two. Okay. So here as well. So one, here, and then here. There you go. And then here to here, here to here. And then modify. So in 3D view, this is how it looks like. We can change the visual style here to shaded view. And there you go. Okay, and then the last thing is that we are going to add our doors and windows. Okay, so let's put the doors first. So from the architecture, I'm going to select here the door tool. I'll be using double glass because we have a double glass door here. So I'm going to place it here like that. Make sure you are... Uh, placing your pointer to the wall because our door is a wall hosted family okay so after i place the double glass door i'm going to change the type here i'll be selecting the single flash okay and then I'm gonna hover my pointer here like that so pick there you go later we're going to align that don't worry okay so this one i want to flip to the other side so I'm going to hover my pointer to the wall and then press the space bar once like that and then pick. Okay, so here, pick. So here, pick. So this one, pick, pick, pick here and then here. There you go. And then let us just uh, tidy up our door. So I'm going to select modify again to terminate the tool, uh, the tool. And then I'm going to select this door here. Click the door and then as you can see there is this flip icon. I'm, I'm going to select that one. There you go. And then I want that to be aligned to this AutoCAD drawing. So I'll be using the modify tab and then use the align tool here. So click the align. Let's click the red side and then let's align this side. There you go. So same here. So I'm going to pick this and then I'm going to click the door. You always select the, the side that you want to be the reference when you are aligning, which is uh, this one, for example. And then this is our door to align. Okay, and then I'll select modify to terminate the tool. Let's click the door here. Let's click that. Alternatively, you can also press the space bar, right? So select the door and then you can press the space bar to flip to the other side, flip left and right or up and down, okay? So you can use that. Let's align again. So our reference is the red line and then we want to align this. There you go. Let's align. Okay, so this one needs to be flipped. So click, click, and then flip, and then align. There you go. Escape. So uh, click our door, flip, use the align tool, the red as our reference, and then our door. There you have it. And then select modify. 
now we are going to place our windows right the problem is we can't see the outline of our auto head windows oh by the way i haven't placed one door there let me put one first there you go and then align reference place there you go okay now for us to be able to see the outline of the window so i'm gonna change the visual style instead of hidden line i'm gonna make it wireframe click that and you can now see your window okay so i'm gonna select the window tool here from the architecture tab so i select the window this time i'm going to turn on tag on placement so by doing this it plays the tag automatically as you place your door or your window because your door can also activate tag on placement so that every time you place your door so there is a tag that will be placed with your uh, door so for our window i'm gonna activate this i'll just use this option or this type and then i'm just gonna place it here like that pick so our window is also wall hosted family that's why you need to make sure that your pointer is along the wall okay and that's it place it like that like that here 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 as well here 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 and here there you have it okay so this is now our model here okay so if you want to place your tags also on your doors what you can do is you can go to the quick access toolbar and then select here tag by category so let's click that no leader line so make sure that the window or the door tag is loaded so click the tags here make sure there is a tag on your doors so there is a loaded tag already so that's fine but if it is uh, if there is no loaded tag so make sure you click the drop down here and then select the tag that you want for your doors okay so i'll just select here okay and let us now click our door okay you can click one by one or i'm going to select modify to terminate you can go to uh, annotate tab and then you can select here tag all so you click tag all not tagged so click that and then i'll just check here the door tags and then i'll just select here okay that's it and there you go so automatically it will tag all your uh, doors okay so you will notice the tags of my doors here is different from the numbering of my window as you can see here my windows only says 17 number 17 but for my doors here it says uh, different numbers okay why because the basis of the door tag family here is not the same as the basis of your window tag family so if i'm gonna select the door here i click the door you will notice that it is based on the mark the instance uh, parameter mark so if i select this uh, door here so it's based on the mark right but for my w windows if i click this window it's not based on the mark right but it's based on the type properties which is type mark okay so it's inside the type mark so that's why if i said this type should be like 18 so you just need to change this one to 18 and all of these windows having this same type will gonna be changed to 18 as well so now since this is instance properties so they are all individual based on the mark okay 
So instance properties is based on the selected object or objects. This is the property. But for the type property, so from the word itself, it's based on the type. So even if you have a 1915 by 2134 type of uh, door, you only need to change the type mark once if you want all of that 1000 to be, say, for example, 21. So you just need to change it here, 21. Okay. Anyway, so that's it for this uh, simple exercise. So we, in this exercise, we have learned how to import our CAD drawing, trace our model, and then put some doors and windows together with the tags. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.